Okay, here we're gonna put together the the um, skids or landing gear. Uh, and one thing you'll notice is on this plate, the bottom plate, there's um, two holes. One is closer to the edge than the other. There's actually um, a longer distance between this one and the edge, and then this hole in the edge. Um, apparently, the one with the larger distance is the front. Okay, another thing I found out too is there is only um, one way this plate will go on on the top. Um, I had put it together backwards and the holes don't line up um, in the middle. This hole won't line up with that hole. So that's kind of nice. So you can't really put it together wrong since there is only one way. In order to bolt the the uh, mainframes onto the skids, it's just a matter of the putting the three by six bolts into um, a hole in the front and the hole in the middle. Um, the hole on the back actually uh, is not a three by six. Um, that's actually a 3 by 14 so we're not going to put that on there yet because when you put that on there, you also put on the spacer for um, the boom support and also the boom supports. And um, I'm going to actually skip that step for now because I don't want to I don't want to put that on there yet. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put in the bolt in the middle and the front just to uh, get my frames down onto this the uh, skids, and then I'll I'll put the skids in afterwards. So there we go. Okay, time for the main gear uh, and main shaft. Let's grab those out of our uh, F201001 bag. All I'm doing is checking to make sure they're in there nice and tight um, pre-assembled stuff kind of scares me I like to double check to make sure everything's been loctited uh, the way it should have been and so forth but that looks pretty good actually so how this works is you have a little um, spacer here. We'll go ahead and put the spacer on top of the main gear and then as we slide it in make sure our spacer stays in there properly. Then our main shaft um, has a little ridge inside of it. The longest part goes down inside of the heli. I want to make sure that's nice and tight. And everything should spin nice and free. If it doesn't spin nice and free, um, your bearing blocks might not be lined up properly. So what you want to do is loosen up um, these four bolts on the side here and then get it nice and aligned and then it will should spin nice and free. Alright, feels pretty good. We'll go ahead and put our collar on. Um, this collar doesn't look like you can really mess it up. It doesn't go on any specific way. Uh, it's got a little little standoff on both sides of it here. So you just slide that on down. Make sure everything's pushed up nice and tight as you are putting in your little um, screws on the collar. 
Make sure and put some Loctite on there. You don't want too much though because you don't want it um, squeezing out down into the bearing. So again, what I like to do is I just put a little dab on and then I wipe it off. And that gives enough um, Loctite within the threads to hold everything in place where it needs to be. So here as I do this, I'm just going to kind of pinch up nice and tight as I screw in my bolt. Same thing for the other side. A little bit of Loctite, not too much. We don't want it squeezing out into the bearing. Wipe off any excess. And then tighten her up nice and tight. Another thing I forgot to um, mention was you don't want any uh, up and down play on the shaft. You don't want to be able, be able to um, move the shaft up and down at all. Um, after inspecting mine, it was a little loose. It had a little bit of up and down play in it. So all I'm doing is just coming back in and uh, retightening the collar down lower, uh, making sure I get rid of any extra play inside the, the main shaft there. So there we go. Spin it a few times. And make sure any extra play is out of there. So that looks pretty good.